With the basic ideas of logarithms in hand, we're now going to be looking at properties of logarithms. Because logarithms are an inverse operation to exponents, we're going to be relating a lot of these ideas back, and a lot of the properties that exist with logarithms are the same as those that exist with exponents. We have a product property, a quotient property, and a power property. The product property states that if I'm taking the log of m times n, that is equivalent to the log of m plus the log of n. Now you might be able to relate this to a to the m times uh, m plus n equals a to the m times a to the n. So whenever we have multiplication happening of common bases, we add the exponents. If we have an, a multiplication of exponents, then we can add the logs. Next is the quotient property. If we have log of m over n, that is equivalent to log of m minus log of n. Again, with our exponents, log, or sorry, a to the m minus n came from a to the m divided by a to the n. Dividing items common base, subtract the exponents. So if we have division of the exponents, then we are subtracting. M product property. If we have log of m to the n, that is equal to n log of m. And what we had before was a to the m times n equaled a to the m to the n. So these properties are able to be used in logarithms to simplify more complicated structures. So if we take basic logarithmic properties or logarithmic functions, we can break them down into items a little bit easier to manage. For instance, if we need to simplify log base 4 of 5x plus log base 4 of 3x, according to our properties, we would be able to run the following simplification. We would have log base 4 of 5x times 3x, which is log base 4 of 15x squared. Now we're dealing with items in a simple single item rather than having to take different logs and add them together. Next, if we have 2 times log base 4 of 6 minus log base 4 of 9, we can apply the uh, power property and the quotient property. So the first one becomes log base 4 of 6 squared minus log base 4 of 9. Now 6 squared is 36 and when we have subtraction that becomes log base 4 of 36 divided by 9. 36 divided by 9 is 4 so log base 4 of 4. Now what power do you raise 4 to to get an answer of 4? and the answer is 1. So 2 log base 4 of 6 minus log base 4 of 9 simplifies out to 1 because we're able to apply properties of logarithms. Sometimes going the opposite way is more helpful in simplification. So log base 3 of 250 thirty-sevenths. So this becomes log base 3. 250 is 5 times 5 times 5 times 2 minus log base 3 of 37 which we could turn these three fives into a 5 cubed making it that we have log base 3 of 5 cubed plus log base 3 of 2 minus log base 3 of 37. Now, product uh, power property, this is 3 
log base 3 of 5 plus log base 3 of 2 minus log base 3 of 37. So we're able to apply the properties and pull out a few items. Next, let's do log base 3 of 9x to the 5th. This becomes log base 3 of 9 plus log base 3 of x to the 5th. Now 9 is simply 3 squared, so we have log base 3 of 3 squared plus log base 3 of x to the 5th. Now applying our uh, power property, we have 2 log base 3 of 3 plus 5 log base 3 of x. Log base 3 of 3 is 1, so we have 2 plus 5 log base 3 of x. So we're able to simplify out some parts of this and leave others to be evaluated once we have a value for x. Now, along with these properties of logarithm, product, quotient, and power properties, there's also a way of applying a property for a change of base. The change of base formula tells us that I have log base b of m. I can rewrite that as log of m divided by log of b. So many people on their calculators have simply log, the common log, which is a log base 10 and you're unable to use that for items that involve other bases. While well, applying this principle, you'd be able to use your calculator to help with the simplification process. For instance, if we have log base 8 of 32, we can apply that as log of 32 divided by log of 8. If I have log base 4 of 18, I can make that log of 18 divided by log of 4 and now you'll be able to use your calculator to simplify these expressions and get either uh, integer answers or irrationals as will be the case most times but you'll be able to come up with an answer in the simplification process. So a lot of things going on with these properties. It's product, quotient, and power properties that have similar ideas to those with exponents. And this change of base formula that will help you be able to simplify items using your calculator when it's not items that you can normally work with. Make sure you study this and understand it and able to use it as we move forward.